What going you lot and welcome to yet another video on my channel. I'd quickly like to say thank you for the support you guys have given me on the first two videos. Before we start off, I wanted to quickly say my parents have actually found out my Twitter and my YouTube account, so they've been watching my videos and I wanted to do a quick shout out to them. Hold tight my mum, hold tight my dad. You guys have given me some constructive criticism I've wanted to work on, so I've done that. You wanted the second view back? There it is. You wanted the audio fixed? It should be. You wanted another episode of things that piss me off? Here it is. You wanted the intro short? It's done, don't worry. Barbershops piss me off. As a young male at university, my appearance is very important whether I care about it or not. Part of my appearance includes my body, my attire, and obviously my hair, which is where the role of the barbers comes in. Listen, the barber is a very important man in your life. You have no idea how important he is. Once you find a good one, you gotta stay loyal. Find out his name, find out how he is. Respect him like the important man he is because he has the power to end your life. So let's talk about different types of barbers. In a typical barber shop, there are usually three barbers. The first barber, the second barber, and the third barber. Obviously, 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 obviously. <clears throat> yeah. So the first barber is always the best. The shop is sometimes named after him because, well, be because he owns it. He gets the most customers and he is the most experienced. He's always got the longest queue, so there's the most people in front of you. However, the benefits of this is he can trim you so well, you'll have the confidence to lips any girl in the street, lips any girl, nah, that's not me. to apply for history at Oxford, get an offer from UCAS and decline it, well, pretty much anything, I guess. He's important, okay? Let's move on to the second barber. He's usually the first barber's apprentice. So he's pretty close, but he's not the first barber. He's been taught everything that the first barber knows. And he's usually the first person you go to if the first barber is unavailable. If you can't get a trim from the first barber or the second barber, wait. Just wait. Be patient. Resist what's gonna come next the third barber. To describe the third barber in a clean, concise and short way, uh, well, he, he's shit. He will ruin your hairline like Deji's. Like, look at this, that's ridiculous, come on. Your life would just be so peck. It wasn't actually peak, it was peck. Like, it was so peak that it was just peck. Yeah, the A just went flying. Peck, write it down, it's a thing. Your hairline will be so peck your mother will disown you, your mates will drop you, babies will cry when they see your extreme forehead, countries will implode and create black holes that will cause everyone to just, okay, probably too, yeah, probably a little bit too far. Just understand this, he will ruin your life. That's it. After he's received that money from the poor person who's just left the barbershop, he will glare at everyone, everyone who is seated. Try your hardest, this is so important. Do not look him in the eye. Don't do it, just just don't. Not even for banter, because if you look, he'll ask you, you want trim? You want a trim? You want trim? You want trim? Understand this too, it takes real 100% confidence to tell the third barber, no, scratch that, to look the third barber in the eye and tell him, no thank you, I'm waiting for James. Even if the line is three hours for James, trust me, it's worth the wait. Thank you so much for watching that video. I wanted to thank the people who gave me constructive criticism on my second video, which I think was my best one, but it was a bit too long. So I worked on cutting this one down a little bit more. So as always, thanks for watching. Tell your mum, tell your dad, tell your barber in a bit.